Wendy Wood Holland, the aunt to missing mother Brittany Wood, was back in a Baldwin County courtroom today. This time, she was arraigned on four new sex abuse charges against a minor. Holland and nearly a dozen other relatives of Brittany Wood are suspects in a child sex ring in Mobile and Baldwin counties. Fox 10 News Baldwin County reporter Hal Sherrick was at the hearing and found out these new charges are completely unrelated to the previous ones. Wendy Wood Holland has spent the better part of the last two years behind bars. She faces multiple sex abuse charges in both Mobile and Baldwin counties, all against minors. Even as her trial date nears, she found herself in court again, facing additional charges in Baldwin County. The new charges stem from the ongoing investigation into all of Brittany Wood's relatives who are charged with sex crimes against minors. Anytime that we have an investigation that is this voluminous, um, you have uh, different information that comes in bits and pieces, and this was just another piece of the puzzle. Holland's part in that puzzle began with the disappearance of 19-year-old Brittany Wood in May of 2012. Her husband, Donald Holland Sr., was found dead with what authorities say was a self-inflicted gunshot, the gun belonging to Wood. Wood hasn't been seen since, and most fear she is dead. As the investigation into her disappearance began, authorities say they uncovered a twisted trail of sex, incest, and betrayal within the family across both counties. These new charges are just the latest to come to the surface. Once we got the information, we uh, acted quickly on it and presented it to a grand jury. Holland faces one count of second-degree rape, two counts of second-degree sodomy, and one count of second-degree sex abuse. Prosecutors say the new charges are unrelated to existing ones and involve a different victim, a male who was under the age of 16 at the time. As trial dates for many of the suspects approach, the investigation into Wood's disappearance and her family's alleged sex crimes against children continue. We're not going to stop until every person's charged and brought, brought before the court to answer for their charges. Um, any new information that comes, we're going to act on it just as... as thoroughly and as quickly as we have with all the other information. The district attorney's office anticipates Holland going to trial sometime in December, but whether or not she goes to trial on these new charges or the ones she already faced is yet to be determined. Reporting from Baymanette, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News. Before Holland goes to trial, the DA's office says another person in the child sex ring case will go to trial in October. William Brownlee rejected a plea deal in August and will be tried on charges of sodomy second and sex abuse. Brownlee also faces charges in Mobile County.